all right good day to everyone wherever you are watching this um in the group chats um home tech i believe that is the name that the of the person's business one of our subscribers requested for a video on how to make spiral stairs like these says you've seen stuff like that in some of my tutorials and i decided all right let's get that out of the way um so home tech if you are not using akikad version 22 and above what i'm going to explain right now will not work so i want you to be clear on that so if you're using a lesser version of akikad when you see this video please reach out to me you already know how to do that so reach out and i should address how to go about it for lower versions of akikad and i would suggest to anyone who hasn't upgraded beyond that point akikad 22 was made for the year 2018 what does that tell us was it 18 or even 19 the point is it's way too outdated the new features they are adding they are not useless i can testify to improvements one of them is this spiral staircase that has become easier as compared to what we had before all right so let me quickly dive in so if you want to do a spiral staircase i suggest you start first of all by using lines to draw out the path you want your staircase to take okay so say for example i have um i want this step i have uh we don't want to put a staircase in this this virus staircase in this building i'm actually considering somewhere in this building and i also feel like i might ruin it all right we have an innocent box here and i want this virus staircase that's going to start its movement here okay it's going to start somewhere here it's going to touch this wall somewhere here still going to be turning reach somewhere here and probably land around here so it's roughly like a 270 degree turn this is not the part i was asking you to draw so if you had something like this in mind please just take it out all right so for the part i was referring to take a curve and you know just draw it draw a circle and if it's not a circular curve good and fine still draw the shape you want all right so you could just the purpose of what I'm doing right now is a guide. Alright, so it's not like this is the only way it can be done. I'm just saying that this is a guide to help you do it easier. Alright, so uh, I think I'm still expanding on. Um, okay. Okay. So this is quite close, not 100% perfect. If you want something that's perfect, well, there are ways to go about it as well. When I would eventually do a tutorial on the Akikad circle to we'll get to that. So when I select this circle, I can change the method of input from what we have here to this third one over here. So I want it to be like, I want it to touch this face, all right? I want it to also touch this face and i want it to also touch this face and all of a sudden akika just solves the puzzle and creates a curve that does that for me all right so now that we have something like this i could click um at any of these dots and you know adjust its angles so the what i described here was for it to start around here and then for it to terminate somewhere around here so let's go about that and see how it goes I'm going to draw a line from here to the center of the circle and what I want on this line is to get the width of the staircase. Alright, so I'm going to draw down directly on top of the first one just so I retain the sense of direction and then put in the desired width. In this case it's going to be, um, what do I use, say 1.5 meters, 1500. Zero, zero and now i can delete this normal radius here and we have this small one left all right so i'm going to go to the stair two the staircase two right here and i'm going to set the thickness and the width as originally described 1500 
and then I start drawing. It's just that straightforward. I start here, and rather than just follow all the parts, no, what I'm going to do is go and drop at the ending. Now, from what I can see, this space is bigger than what we had targeted, so I'm just going to shrink the entire space all at once. I'm going to do that using Control K. All right, so I'm going to go from here to here, and you know, like drop it a bit. So I'm going to redo what I was trying to do earlier. Start over here, and rather than follow the parts in full, I'm going to come stop over here. And someone's like, hey, 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 bro, that is not a spiral step. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's correct. What we need to do next is click on the face of this, and as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, observe what your cursor looks like, okay? Right now it's an arrow. When I come to the edge of this place, it can be a lot of things. Now it's an arrow with a scale rule underneath. At this point, it's an arrow with a good sign underneath. That is the effect I'm looking for, okay? So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click here that says curve edge. And once I do this, I'm going to move till I get an edge. Now, Kika does automatic calculations on our behalf for just about the number of risers, the width of the thread, and all that. If you want to be specific on those things on your own, of your own volition, then feel free to undo at this point. Okay, select the staircase, give it favorable parameters. Um, I'm going to make this 150 mm, and then for its thread, I'm going to put it at say um 350 mm all right now with what we have here we can tell that the former wall was actually okay inside so i'm just going to go back and enlarge it again so, uh i don't think i got everything i'm picking everything except the staircase by the way so i'm going to go from here to here do a bit of the enlargement and i'm going to pick this head right here and here comes the hard part when the head doesn't terminate here such as what I had gotten the first time. I click on this and then I start curving but the curve is no longer following the path I want. So I'm just going to drop it anyway randomly. Now pick this head that is no longer a straight line that is now a curve and then go drop it where I want it. I want it in this spot. Take note that when I start moving it has a mind of its own. So. I just estimate and bring it something really close. All right. So that said, I think this is just about as accurate as it would get. It doesn't stop here because we are seeing this gap that we have. So I'm going to now expand. And once I have something like this, then it's fine by me. Alright, so another way to go about this is when I select, and maybe we should have previewed that in 3D first of all, by the way. Mm. For anyone who's seen this and not understanding, check the last video on sections and you would know why this was the last time I had opened in the 3D viewpoint. Alright, uh, am I in the right place? Yes. So, you see what we've done here. I believe this answers your question, Mr. Home Tech. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. I said there was one other approach, and that is where I would actually follow the path. So, I draw this, and then um, I didn't do the other settings anymore. Um, control Z to so just copy these guys' settings, and it's free to go back. Or go away so I click on this and then I'm going to use this arc with defined tangents and now it says it needs to see the first tangent of the arc which is this line okay so it says enter next vertex of the base step and um, step baseline these are very instructions for those are by the way all right so I'm going to click here then enter the next tangent here the next vertex here the next tangent here and we seem to be good 
not exactly what I had in mind. Um, from here, um, let's just drop it somewhere here. Select this, COVID, adjust it, COVID again, adjust it again. Yeah, I know it can be a pain in the neck, but Akika doesn't really give us much more better alternatives to work with for a while. Alright, so, um, yeah, I think this is just about it. It's close, it's not exact, but it gives the essence. Alright, so there we have it. I hope this was useful to someone out there. If it was, leave a like, uh, or if it was not, mention it in the comments and I would gladly address that. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you've not subscribed, do so. Bye for now.